Hi guys, it's Erin from Yuppie Kaye. Uh, I'm just going to do a very quick peek at my current Omni Journal. I apologize for my mangy looking nails. I have been doing some gardening and I also have horses, so I gave up on clean nails a long time ago. Um, you may remember my uh, original Omni Journal, um, which was the one where I sort of figured out what I liked. Although I'm still evolving my style, but I ended up kind of in this vintagey feel, although this looks a little bit messy now that I look back at it. Um, but I love the vintage look, and then I sort of went lighter and started getting to pastels and doing a little bit of sketching um, on the pages. So um, after that, it was much lighter and simpler, and uh, that's kind of how this book ended up. Um, trying to do a sketch every day. The, the odd tip in, but not really that many. Um, this was a fun one. I really like this one, how it came out. Um, so mostly just doing, picking one or two colors and then um, doing a little decorating and then getting all my journaling in if I had room. Um, and some sketching, of course, because I am an artist and I'm supposed to sketch every day to practice. Um, so that's where this one ended up, was kind of light and bright and um, mostly one day per page, except for the weekends and then pen testing. Okay, so that brings us back to the new one, which is smaller, as you can see, uh, than the first one. I wanted something a little bit more handy to pop in my purse or my bag and bring around with me. So I got this little hardcover book at um, Hobby Lobby. It's just a little sketchbook with plain white paper. Um, I really like a lot of things about this book. I love the size. I love the hardcover with the gold embossing. Um, and it's very inexpensive. I put my own pen loop on there. The only downside to this one is the pages are not really well suited for wet media and I like to do watercoloring so um, they tend to bleed through um, so I'm not going to use this again but I will give you a quick peek I started sort of doing this little box setup at first to try and keep the pages more tidy looking and I kind of like it although sometimes it was hard to um, make my day fit into the boxes, but I try to do a little bitty sketch every day, um, depending on what was going on. That was the day of the Preakness race, and get my schedule and my to-do list, and um, try and keeping things tidy and sort of pick a simple color palette. Um, sketching, watercoloring, so a light watercolor was okay, but not, not a lot. I couldn't handle a lot. Um, then I tried doing my schedule out which actually was very helpful. Um, but I was still was not really happy with how it looked. It's functional, but it's not very pretty. So I was still sort of tweaking and wondering, um, more sketching, more sketching. Um, still trying to tweak it and figure out what I wanted to do. Um, this is the day I got my zip printer, so that was my first print of my little dog, Ollie, in here. Um, every time you see a horse tip in, that usually means there's something about my horses in there. My horses have been sick. They have both have vaccine-induced Lyme disease, so I'm trying to keep track of their progress and all the supplements that I'm giving them and trying to get them healthy again. So anytime you see a horse, tip in that's horse related um, this was sketching with my friend Tracy so that's my second photo I love this little zip printer so handy um, here's another horse one so something was going on with the horses there so that's my horsey tip in anyway I still wasn't happy I was trying to actually now fit two days on one page which was not really working I was definitely running out of space um, so I'm back to sort of my old style. I went back to my vintage-y style because I just like it better. 
Um, so this is back where I am at the moment. So here's horsey tip in with what's going on with my horses. And then I've added another tip in sort of every day. The little sun icon is going to be my weather. So yesterday it was 114 on my deck. Very hot and humid here in Virginia right now. Um, but I like back to sort of a more tidy look. And the tip ins help um, keep some of the writing um, more neat looking so you don't have to look at all my little to-do lists that I do every day. So this was yesterday's spread and Wednesday. Here's today, so I'm just getting going on it. Um, I've got the weather on here. New record on my back deck of 116 degrees. Um, and then here's tomorrow. Um, my to-do list is under this tip-in. Here's the weather tip-in, which I haven't done yet. Um, I'm saving some space up here. I'm waiting on a date stamp that hasn't arrived yet in the mail. So these will all have, you know, July whatever, 9th, 2016 up here. So I'm leaving a little space. Um, but I wanted to show you sort of how I've set all the pages up going forward for the next week so that then I can just add my journaling as I go along. Um, so here's my weather tip in. Then I just had this scrap of vellum, which I thought was pretty. Um, this will be to-do lists under here. Um, again, my date stamp I'm waiting on. Um, weather. So it's still sort of all in this vintage -y look. Weather will go here. Um, and I'll fill it in as I go. Um, this I just was in the newspaper, so it was really thin, so I just decoupaged it right on there. Um, a lot of my friends pay, play polo. Um, weather, and then Friday I'm leaving for my trip, so I did a little map of where I'm going, which is Virginia, where I live, up to Wisconsin. It's for a celebration to celebrate my grandmother's life, who she passed away this year. So this is um, when we leave, my departure information for myself and my son, who's meeting me there. And then this whole spread is dedicated to the weekend. So I've left room for photos. I have the itinerary for the whole weekend here, um, tip-ins. So I'll fill this in with photos and journaling over the weekend, but this whole spread is dedicated um, just to the celebration which we will be there Saturday and Sunday. So uh, weather tip-ins, more tip-ins. So I'm just getting these ready so I can put photos in. I can do some journaling. Um, and then we leave on Sunday. Here's my flight information back. So I have my flight information with me. But again, I don't need to you know, look at it all the time. So it's nicely concealed behind this tip-in. Um, a lot of this is just scraps I have lying around. Um, but you can sort of see how I've set everything up going forward. So here now I'm getting even further forward. I don't even have anything set up yet, but I have started collecting scraps um, and sort of ephemera that I'm going to put on these pages. So you can sort of see how I start. I just color the page very quickly. Again, this paper doesn't handle watercolor very well, so it doesn't look great. Um, it does bleed through a little bit, but you can see where I start. Date and then my little map. Um, this ink you can see is bleeding through very badly. So that's the only downside of this uh, little planner. It's just really a sketchbook. It's not meant for wet media. So um, I like how it's going. It's it's. Um, I like looking at these pages. I think these will be fun to flip through you know later on so I can see what was going on but it's also now neat and tidy and pleasant to look at instead of a big old mess like it was. Uh, back here. I sort of was doing color coding in here so I could remember where things were. Like I know um, Jazz Camp was orange so I could just go right to the orange section and there it is, Jazz Camp. So I almost didn't even need an index because I could just remember where stuff was by color. So anyway, going forward, um, I'm not going to use this book again, um, but I will use now my um, new traveler's notebook and I'm going to do another video um, talking about this in one second so that was just a little walkthrough of the current Ojo hope you liked it and um, stay tuned and I'll have some more videos up very soon bye